Hello friends, today we will see state of stress in two dimensions. We know that every material which is present on this earth is a three dimension. And whenever a stress is applied, then it is applied in a three dimension. But to simplify things, we study different things in two dimensions. So here also, we will try to understand the state of stress in two dimensions. So for this purpose, and the reference you will find in chapter 2 of Dieter. Chapter 2 Dieter. Okay. Now. Suppose this is a plate. Okay. This is a plate which has got some x direction yes and this is y direction right here yeah. now if you see the thickness of this plate then the thickness is very small you know thickness is very very small very small so we can assume it as a two dimensional material. So when we assume it as a two dimensional material, so when we apply a stress which is normal to this plane, suppose this is the plane, then there is no stress in the direction which is normal to this plane. Okay, so there will be sigma x, there will be sigma y, but sigma z will be what zero so this condition is called as plane stress condition right uh, here to find a state of stress at certain point suppose o okay here we assume that there is a very small you know inf infinitesimal that is called an infinitesimal uh, plane you know so and this plane is considered to be a oblique plane like the plane normal the if you consider this plane the plane normal the plane normal of this plane will make some angle theta with x axis yes and this direction we assume it as x dash okay because we are trying to find a state of stress for point o with respect reference to some axis like x and y so here we have assumed that there is a plane this red color plane which is oblique uh, to this s x axis like the plane normal of this red one is making an angle of theta with x axis okay now let us define the types of stresses which are being applied here okay so in this direction this will be sigma y okay in this direction sigma x x direction now there will be application of shear stress so this will be tau y x y tau y x it represents the first subscript represents the plane on which this is acting so it is on the y plane in the x direction so similarly here this will be tau x y okay Now, for this case, in the x-ray direction, add some force P S X here, let it be S Y. Angle is what? Theta. Okay. And what is the area of this plane, this red one? Let it be A. Now. These are the things we have to mention while proving, you know. Now in the next case, in the next case, 
we have to balance the forces in x and y direction so how can we balance let me make it a little bit small okay now let us do in this portion now sx this force is applied on area a okay and here sx sigma x sigma y are stresses okay sigma x sigma y sx are stresses which are acting on this plane so what will be the force sx into area okay this will be a force a, uh, this will be force so sx it is in this direction so sx into a will be equal to what sigma x this sigma x multiplied by this area okay so what will be the value of this area this is a so if what will be the angle over here this will be theta so a cos theta right plus what are the other force tau yx right tau yx into what what is the area over here this will be what a cos theta a sin theta since this will be what 90 minus theta this angle will be 90 minus theta so area will be a sin theta this area oa so we can write it as sx equal to sigma x cos theta plus tau y x sin theta okay this is our first equation now second case sy into area is equal to now we are balancing in the y direction so sy into area will be equal to what this sigma y and this area this area oa that will be what a sin theta plus okay and uh, what is the other force this one tau xy okay so tau xy into into this area this area a cos theta right so sy is equal to sigma y sin theta plus tau x y cos theta this is our second equation right guys okay now to find the stress in x stress direction which is what we want to find you know so sigma x test will be what this will be equal to sx like sigma the stress in x direction and the if you take the component that is cos theta right plus sy sin theta so we know sx from here we will take sy from here right and let it write again so sx if you take sigma x cos theta plus tau yx sin theta into cos theta plus sy is what sigma y 
साइन थीटा प्लस टो एक्स वाई कॉस थीटा इंटू साइन थीटा ओके सो दिस विल व्हाट सिग्मा एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा टो वाई एक्स साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा सिग्मा वाई साइन स्क्वायर थीटा टो एक्स वाई कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा राइट ना ऑन री अरेंजिंग यू कैन राइट सिग्मा एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस सिग्मा वाई साइन स्क्वायर थीटा टू टो एक्स वाई कॉस थीटा साइन थीटा सिंस टो एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू टो वाई एक्स यू नो दिस ओके सो दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स डैस नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो सिग्मा वाई डैस देन दिस विल बी वॉट सिंपली वी नीड टू चेंज एरिया द थीटा विथ थीटा प्लस पाई बाय टू राइट सिग्मा एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर दिस विल बी वॉट थीटा प्लस पाई बाय टू राइट सिग्मा वाई साइन थीटा प्लस पाई बाय टू स्क्वायर टू टॉ एक्स वाई कॉस थीटा प्लस पाई बाय टू साइन थीटा प्लस पाई बाय टू ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट वी वांटेड टू फाइंड एंड दिस आर व्हाट द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस और वी कॉल इट नॉर्मल स्ट्रेसेस ओके ना इफ यू फाइंड द सीयर स्ट्रेस लाइक टो एक्सट्रेस वाई डेस देन दिस विल बी व्हाट लेट एस एज्यूम हियर दैट दिस इज टॉ एक्सट्रेस वाई डेस ओके सो ना हियर आल्सो वी विल हैव टू बैलेंस सो The balance equation will be tau x dash y dash equal to this s y cos theta minus s y cos theta minus s x sin theta. so here also you put sy and sx and you can easily find what is the tau x dash and y dash okay so now let me do this x dash y dash right now these equations can be written again if you use the formula that is cos square to cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 so if we put this into our equation which we have derived here okay so we can get in the form of this sigma x dash equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 Plus sigma x minus sigma y by two to cos two theta plus to x y sin two theta. Similarly, sigma y dash equal to sigma x plus sigma y by two minus sigma x minus sigma y by two 
cos 2 theta minus 2 xy sin 2 theta and tau x dash y dash equal to sigma y minus sigma x by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta right so this is these are the equation which gives you the stress the state of stress so you guys you can go through this one uh, to know the derivation and understand the concept